it's a nice warm but chilly day just enough sun to keep the chill off and i think it's a great day to winterize this bad boy What's up guys, Francis from the Rugged Tyros here and it is getting cold and I think it's about time that we winterize this trailer. If you're new to this series, a Tyro is a newbie. This is my 2015 Wolf Pup 16FQ and today I'm going to show you how I winterized my trailer and it's worked for me for the last couple years. And I've prepared a couple things before we get started with this project. I got this for my jacks with the chuck. I got a funnel for my fluid. And most importantly, I have my antifreeze. So our last camping trip was at the end of August and this is where the trailer has been parked since then. So before I get started, I do have to dump my trailer because we still have stuff in the black tank. So I do think it's vital to do one last dump before you winterize. You don't want frozen poops. So I quickly take the locks off, I lift my jacks and I put the hitch on, take my Lego blocks out, lift my trailer up just high enough so I can get my truck underneath. Drop her down so that everything is linked up. Don't forget the step. Pull up ahead so that way I can make sure all the wheels are spinning. Stop, get out. Do my final checks, make sure everything is coupled, make sure everything is working, all lights are on, and I'm off. So here in my town, we have a local campsite that has a dump station. Bit of a lineup at the dump. It's free to use and maintained by volunteers, so we try to keep it as clean as we can. So since I'm waiting in line anyway, I hook up my hose so that way when it's my turn, I'm ready to go. It kind of just streamlines the process, makes it easier for people to just get in and get out. I used to overcomplicate this process so much. I guess it was just like stage fright when it was your turn. So I clean out my hose, pack up, and I'm off. I usually do the backup process with my wife, but unfortunately she wasn't here today. Luckily my neighbor Wade was nearby and offered to spot me in. Thanks buddy. So I chalk the wheels and level her out. Check out my space, yep, that'll do. Drop down my stabilizer jacks, throw my Lego blocks in. Alright guys, so I got the trailer to basically the right height and the right angle that I want it. So let's get started. So I've only had a trailer for close to three years now. And I've learned that harsh Alberta weather during the winter time can really damage your tire. So I'm installing these tire covers that I got from my buddy Randy and his father and basically it just protects the tires from all the elements. Another thing I learned from my buddy Jesse is that if you leave your cap off, at least that way in the winter time if anything drains it doesn't just stay stagnant in your pipe and freeze up. So next up we go to the fresh water drain. So basically I just want to empty out my fresh water tank so that way there's no liquid in there that could freeze up. At least for now I just want to empty out all the water. So next up I head inside just so I can access my hot water tank underneath the bed. So essentially what I'm looking for are the valves so that I can bypass the hot water tank and circulate the water directly from the fresh water tank. I close off the cold and then I close off the hot and I make sure that the cycle is on. So I then head outside to access the hot water panel and I'm going to take this piece off which is the anode rod and this will drain the hot water tank. It can be a bit finicky and have a little bit of pressure behind it but once you get it off it's pretty much smooth sailing from there. So I'll let that drain completely, it'll do its own thing, but while I wait, I head over to the fresh water drain. From there, I'm just going to shut it in and make sure no liquid is escaping. 
After the hot water tank is finished draining, I give it a quick wipe down and I replace the anode rod not into the hole, but just kind of place it there till next spring. So now we're going to fill the freshwater tank up with antifreeze. This also, by the way, is a food safe antifreeze. I just picked it up at Canadian Tire and basically you dump it in and in the springtime you drain it out and just fill your fresh water tank again. It kind of smells like fruit juice. For this project specifically, I only used a portion of the bottle. Whatever you don't use, you can use it the year after. So I make my way back into the trailer and I turn on the water pump. So what I'm doing now is basically running the cold water so that way the fluid, which is the antifreeze from the fresh water tank, makes its way through the lines and turns the water pink. Once it does, I'm going to go ahead and also do the hot water. So now that I can visually see that both lines are running pink water, I know these lines won't freeze during the winter. I make my way over to the bathroom now. I check the sinks, the toilet, and the showers. So it's the same process as the hot and cold in the kitchen. You'll notice a little bit of sputtering. I try to keep as much liquid in my lines at all times as I can because I don't want to reprime the lines come springtime and this is just an easier way of making sure that everything is running smoothly. So I try to run antifreeze through my shower head as well because anywhere that clear liquid passes you want to make sure that pink liquid passes. That way nothing freezes. I also run a bit of extra antifreeze from my toilet into the black tank so that way the pool of antifreeze sits at the bottom of the black tank. That's pretty much it for the liquid. Simple. So we're in the home stretch. So what I'm doing now is basically taking off the propane lines and making sure the propane's off and now I'm making sure that the battery is going to be taken care of. I'm going to store the whole battery with the battery box in storage so that way it's also out of the element. To prevent the battery from killing itself and from corrosion, I'm taking all the connections off, left and right, positive and negative, and putting the battery box aside. To prevent all the lines from rusting out as well, I basically bag everything, including the propane lines. And shove it underneath the trailer so it doesn't get rained on or snowed on. Battery box is gone and into storage. I'll see you in the springtime. And there you have it folks, winterized. I hope you guys liked that video of how I winterize my trailer. If you like that content or anything the Rugged Tyros puts out here on Tequila Creative, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then that bell icon for more notifications. Thank you guys for the support.